Hi, Emma Haverson here. So two questions for you. Two things that I frequently get asked as a sleep coach. So the first one is, do I need to sleep train my baby? And the second one is, have I missed the sleep training window? So these are questions, like I said, I get asked a lot. So I thought I'd put a little video out there to tell you my thoughts on these things. So the first thing to say, in my opinion, is the answer to both those questions is absolutely not. You don't have to sleep train and you haven't missed a sleep training window. And hopefully that alone is reassuring for you. And for some, that'll be enough just to know that. Um, but I will explain a little bit more for those that want to understand a little bit more about it. So sleep is something that is innate in all humans. So um, similarly to we have an innate ability for language, which it occurs in humans naturally. Um, although we cannot talk when we're born, obviously we can't talk in the same way as adults and we don't have that vocabulary, it's still innate within us and we don't need to train babies or children to talk. Um, it's just something that happens over time and when they're developmentally able and ready. Um, obviously, you need the right support, they need guidance and they need the right environments to learn this language, but it is still an innate thing within us. So similarly with sleep, so babies, obviously we don't, the babies don't sleep in the same way as adults do, um, but equally we don't need to train them and they will slowly move over into a more mature sleep pattern um, as they get older and as they are developmentally able. And then similarly, you know, it helps if you've got the right support and the right guidance and the right environment again to allow this to happen, but it is innate within all humans. So in my experience, parents, um, most parents would like to be getting more sleep, um, which will help them cope better with everything that they've got on their daily plate. So that generally means they would like their child to fall asleep more independently and with less parental input. They would like them to stay asleep for longer stretches. And if and when the child does wake, they want them to be able to settle back to sleep with less parental help. So. There's a lot to unpick in that paragraph and probably make blogs about each individual little section, which I may well get to. Um, but it's all about expectations and child development. Um, a lot about our modern societal kind of pressures that we're under. There's a lot of old wives tales in there. There's a lot of, sort of family pressures. There's also the child's needs and the parents needs as well. So we often look at our peers, our elders and our educators for reassurance that we're doing all right when we become a parent. And um, we're looking to know that our children are growing as they should be. We're looking for um, yeah, reassurance that we're doing the right thing and that we're doing our best. And um, if we feel or, the parents I've spoken to um, generally, if they start to feel that they're missing something or um, everyone else is doing something that they should be doing, um, then they start to doubt themselves and it starts to um, make them think that they should be doing a certain thing. So that's where a lot of these sayings come from or maybe from trends. Um, so trends with sleep training over the years. Um, so I guess you have to trust me on this one. <laughs> you don't need to sleep train your baby and they will consider con consolidate their sleep when they can. And there also there isn't an age window that's appropriate for sleep training that just doesn't exist. There isn't a period in time when, oh, I need to sleep train now or it's gone and it's too late. Um, that just doesn't exist. That's just a, a non thing. Um, but what might be helpful to understand is what we can do 
is to understand what is developmentally um, an, an age appropriate ability for that child. Um, to understand the child's unique needs, their personality, and provide them with a really sleep conducive environment and encourage sleep with loads of healthy habits and healthy lifestyle. So that's what we can do. And that's very different from sleep training, in my opinion. It's setting that environment and really encouraging what is naturally within us to come out the best um, as we possibly can within their age and stage. Um, but yes, as a sleep coach, a holistic sleep coach, I can troubleshoot and that's what I do when I take on one-to-one -one clients. So if parents find themselves in an unsustainable situation um, with their child's sleep, um, then I, I support them and I work with them to try and improve their situation to the benefit of the child and for the parents in, in however that looks for them. But I would never sleep train them it doesn't that just doesn't exist in the um in the way that i work um and i often feel like a detective when i'm working with um parents and their child's sleep so really trying to work out what might be happening to that child what does that child need to be able to fall asleep in a more restful way without all the refusals without all the bedtime battles or the frequent wakes and all of these things will really depend on how old the child is and what the issues are and sort of where the parents are trying to get to ultimately. But for now, for you and your child, if you've got a really tiny baby and you are happy where you are, don't change a thing. Don't feel the pressure to do anything because you've heard of those two things that I said, that you need to sleep train your baby and you will miss the window if you don't do it at a particular time. Those are nonsense. So try and ignore those outside voices if you are feeling that they go against how you want to parent particularly. If you have an older baby or child, then really before you embark on any sleep training stuff, um, then really research on what is normal, the normal sleep expectations that you would have for a, a particular child's age. And if you really do find that you need some support with that, then just again, do your research to find somebody that really aligns with you and your values so that they can give you the right type of support um, that really works for you and your family, depending on what your needs are. Okay, I'll chat to you again soon. Take care.